Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to build product pages that convert more of your customers using the Shogun landing page builder. Now, most stores just have a basic page that looks just like this. It has an image, title, description, and that's about it. These product pages are okay, but if you're like most store owners, you're probably getting a conversion rate of one to 2% using this sort of page. I'm going to show you how to build what's called a long form product page. These product pages don't just have this top section here like a regular page. They have multiple sections going down the page with crafted content that skyrockets your conversion rate to three, five, even 10% in some cases that I have seen. They have videos, they have frequently asked questions, related products, and then reviews down the bottom. To start building our product page, the first thing we need to do is install the Shogun Landing Page Builder app in your Shopify store. Go to the description of this video, you'll find a link. You can go and sign up right here, click add app at that link, put in your Shopify admin URL and install the app in your store. There's a seven day free trial and we'll build our store right now during that trial. Once you've installed the app, log into your dashboard and go to apps and click on the Shogun landing page builder. You'll see this dashboard, click add page, go to product and then search for your product name. Find your product and click import to Shogun. When it asks you what type of page configuration, click existing layouts and click create page. You'll now see this page here and this is where we start building out the sections of our page. In this tutorial right here, we're going to be building out this product page with all the sections already planned because I'm using another page as inspiration. For your own product page, I recommend following along, building out this exact template that I'm showing you right here first, and then at the end of the video, go through and edit the text and the images and the video to match your own product. The first thing we need to do is we're gonna add in the first section that's underneath the description for our product. What we're gonna do is grab the section element here and just drag this in. We can actually delete this element here. This is from the old description from the original page. It's okay to delete that. We're gonna add a new one in later. Now with our new section, we're gonna add in tabs. So find the tabs over here and just drag that in. It's gonna create this little element here and we're gonna have three different tabs. Let's create them now, one, two, three. And I'm gonna name these the different names of the tabs that are gonna be there. So the first one's gonna be description. Next one's gonna be good for. Last one's gonna be specs. See, it's created these three different tabs here that we can actually add other elements to right here. And we can actually add in our text boxes. So scroll down and find the text element and drag that in for the first one. Now I'm gonna pull in the actual description that I've already written. You're gonna do the same for your page too. So I'm just gonna paste it right in. There it is. You're gonna have your own description in there as well. I'm gonna to go to good for and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna add in some text. I'm gonna paste in my own text as well. You can have this, you might not even wanna have that good for, but this is good to show the benefits basically or what people can use the product for. The specs, that's just gonna be a list of all the specifications for your product. You probably have this already. You can also write it yourself too. Awesome, that's all we need to do there. The next thing we're gonna do is add in some sections with icons down below. So to do this, we need to scroll up and go to columns and drag this in and make sure it's dragged in below. Make sure you don't put it inside this, but you put it down below. We're then going to drag this all the way across. So it's just a small little section over here. And I'm gonna go down and find the icon element and then add that in there. I'm gonna change this to the envelope because I'm making this icon about fast and free shipping. I'm then going to go and find a heading and add that in here to the section here. I'm gonna change the text here to fast and free US shipping. You can add in any sort of benefits here that you wanna put and it's gonna show up underneath the description for your product. I'm gonna make this a H3. I'm gonna make sure it's left aligned. I'm gonna change the line height to 2.5 and I'm going to add a margin to the left. So click on styles up here, scroll down to margins, turn off the little link button, the little chain button and change the margin left to 20 pixels. That moves this across and gives it a bit of space. Awesome, now that we have this built, we're now going to be able to select the columns. So make sure you're selecting columns that says columns here and then click the duplicate button. This saves us a lot of time. So now we can just edit this one directly. I'm gonna change this to a bed. Let me change the text to 100 night happiness guarantee. Awesome, that's fantastic. Now, once I finish each section, I usually like to click save. And if it's not a live page, as in you're not editing your live products, 
click publish. Otherwise you can select this I button and preview the page. Now, when you preview the page, it's not gonna show you exactly what it's gonna look like. This is the downside of doing this. But if you make it live, click publish. When you click here and click view live page, it's gonna show you the actual product page. And you can see now we've got this section down here below that we just created. And we've also got these icons here too, which is what we exactly just created just now. You can see now that this is actually a live page on my website now. Keep this in mind as you build this page. You may wanna just keep it as a draft until you've got it built out like I show you in this video and then click publish once it's fully finished. Let's create the next section. For the next section, just pull in the section element. Make sure you select the very bottom, paste that in. Now we wanna edit some parts of this section. Change it to full width, change the minimum height to 500 pixels, and go to styles and change the margin top to just 50 pixels. I made sure to just unselect this button here so it only changes the margin at the top. Now I'm gonna go back and I wanna actually add a background image. So I'm gonna click pick image under background image. And I'm gonna find an image that I wanna use for this section here. So I'm gonna select this image here. You can see it's now created this full section here with a background image of the bed, which is gonna be really, really awesome for my product. Next thing I wanna do is add in a text box, drag this in right in the middle there. Now let's go and style this. We wanna make the minimum height 50 pixels. The max width, I want this to be 40%. Make sure you change this to percent here. I wanna add a margin of 100 pixels to the top and bottom. And then for the margin right and left, I wanna change this to auto. It's now centered the text in the middle. This is gonna look much, much better. I'm then gonna scroll down and go to the padding and change this to 20 pixels on all sides, keep that checked so it adjusts it for all sides. I'm also gonna go down to the background color and change this to white. So you can just drag this all the way up to so it says FFFFF and then change the A to 70, which makes it transparent. So see, we can kind of see the background in the back. This is a nice stylish look. It looks very professional, I really like it. Okay, now we have our text box. Now here, you can actually add any text you want, any sort of benefits that you wanna see. Let's look at our actual finished page. So we say fall asleep, stay asleep. Drown out the outside noise and let your mind rest with a snooze sound cocoon. Really, really cool. Now to make it look like this, you're just editing this text box. For example, fall asleep, stay asleep. Fall asleep, stay asleep. Now you're gonna use these settings here to actually edit this. So you can just change this to a heading two, center it, change the size to 36, and then change the color to black. Boom. See right there, I've made it look just like this. There it is. It's a bit different because of the screen width, but the actual font is the same. And then adding in the text down below, I'm gonna change this to a paragraph as well. Change this down to 16 pixels. I'm gonna center that. Awesome, that looks fantastic. I'm gonna click save and publish. Let's now check in and see how our page looks. Awesome, so that's what it looks like right there. That looks fantastic, looking really, really nice. Let's move on to the next section. We're now going to add a section like this with these benefits stacked in three different rows. Let's build the first section first. We're gonna drag in a new section underneath that one. We're gonna make it full width and go to styles and change the top margin to 20 pixels. We're then going to go and add in some columns. We're gonna change the max width of these columns to be 1200 pixels. We're then gonna to go to style and change the margin right and left to be auto. See that centers these columns in the middle. And we're gonna scroll down and change the padding for all sides to be 30 pixels. Now let's add in the content. So I'm gonna pull in a header over here and some text and then an image on the right hand side. Cool, let's now edit this. So I'm gonna change the text. This is text that I prepared earlier. Peaceful white noise from a real fan. And then I'm just gonna paste in my own text. You're gonna to have to write this text yourself for your own product, but you can copy this similar sort of design. Change my image, I'm gonna pull in an image from earlier. Cool, that looks fantastic. I'm gonna make sure that this text here is left aligned, it's just gonna look a lot better. And I'm gonna add in a margin at the top of this of 10 pixels, just to space it out a bit from that top heading. Cool, that's looking really good. Now what we can do is actually duplicate this section two times, so now we have these extra sections here, we can change the content. Now, just like on this design here, this middle one actually has the image on the left-hand side. That's very easy. We can just drag this image, like selecting this little handle at the top, same with the, the content here, and just swapping the sides. Now we just go in and change out the image and the text with what we actually wanna have in these up following sections. Fantastic, now we have these three sections here. Let's save and publish and see how it looks. 
Beautiful, that looks really, really nice. Let's keep going with the next section. We're now going to add in the video section. So let's pull in a new section element here, put that down below, change this to full width, max width of 1200 pixels, go to styles, change the margins left and right to auto, and we wanna add a padding to the top and bottom of 50 pixels. Now we just wanna find the video element here, drag that in, and if you have your own video here, you can just paste in the link, upload it to YouTube as unlisted, and then paste in the link here, you can also use Vimeo. Here's our video here. Make sure to deselect related videos from other channels. We don't wanna show other channels when the video finishes, we wanna keep the people on this page. Fantastic, okay, let's keep building the next section. That's a very simple section. We're now going to build the frequently asked questions. This uses a heading and some accordions right here. I'm gonna walk you through how to build that exactly in this bit here. Just add in a new section below. Similar to the previous section, make it full width, max width, 1200 pixels. Change the margins right and left to be auto, and then add in padding to the top and bottom of 50 pixels. We're gonna add a heading, frequently asked questions. Let's type that in now. And I'm gonna add a margin to the bottom of just 20 pixels. That creates some space below before our accordion. We're gonna go back to the elements and just drag in the accordion right below. So we're going to have to make some edits to this accordion. Let's change the controls here. So to change the size to 22 pixels, center the text, change the heading padding to 14 pixels. It's gonna look a lot better. And then I like to change the heading text color to black. So just drag that down, go to black. It just looks a lot better. There we go. Of course, you can change this to fit your own brand, but if you wanna make it look just like my page here that I'm creating, this copy of the snooze page, you can just follow what I'm doing here. Cool, now go back and go to text and just drag this in underneath the accordion. Awesome, we have that there. What I like to do as well right now, so we can see that this is actually working, but we need to go and create these new accordions. So I'm gonna create a new pane. I've got five different panels here, and now I'm gonna go in and actually change the heading of each panel. Cool, now here's a helpful tip is, instead of having to drag in and change the text here every single time, I'm actually gonna drag it out of here and then add in my text and I'm also going to add in some padding, just 20 pixels on each side for the text and see it creates a nice little space around it. It just looks a lot nicer. Now that I've done that, I can go and clone another four of these. And this saves me a lot of time having to go and create that padding all over again. It's not a big deal, but I always like to save some time. So I'm gonna open all these up and then just drop in that text for each one. Awesome, and the last one here. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go through and edit the text for each one just to make sure it's all properly done. Okay, that's looking really, really good. As I said before, you're going to have to prepare a lot of this stuff yourself because you're not gonna make a product page for this exact product, you're gonna make it for your own product. So you should have a list of frequently asked questions already made, ready to go, and just paste them in just like I did just now. Awesome, let's now create the next section, which is going to be the related product section right here. I'm gonna create a new section, drag this in. Just like the previous sections, I'm gonna make it full width, 1200 pixel max width, go to styles, make the margin right and left auto, and then make the padding on the top and bottom 50 pixels. I'm gonna add a heading, and you can say related products, but you can also say something like, you may also like. Make sure you have a margin at the bottom of 20 pixels. Remove that linking button, just to give some space. Now we add in a collection. So go here on the, the content, scroll down to Shopify, there it is pull in the collection. Now, you need to go to the collection section of your Shopify dashboard and create a new collection. You can call it something like related products and then just manually add in the other products that you wanna show for this product here. I've already done this previously, so I'm gonna type in related products, pulls it up, confirm, and it's gonna pull in three different products right here. Now, it pulls in the product images, which is really, really cool. But I also wanna have the title of the product, the price, and an add to cart button, just in case they wanna also add that to cart. So I'm gonna drag in product title, I'm gonna pull in product price, and add to cart button. We're gonna go style these, and then we're gonna clone them over for the other two products. Okay, I'm gonna change the heading to H2, just fits nicer, and then add a margin on the top and bottom of five pixels. Fantastic. For the product price, I'm gonna center that, and add a margin top and bottom of five pixels. For the add to cart button, I just wanna add a margin top and bottom of 10 pixels. Fantastic, and you'll see it automatically pulls in the product title, the price, and the add to cart button for that exact product. We can now clone these, and then drag it over to the other products. 
Fantastic, that section's now created. We can now keep working on the next section, which is gonna be the review section. This is what it's gonna look like. So I've already installed stamp.io here. I have some other videos on how to install this software. It's fantastic, it adds in images. It's a great way to show social proof on your website. This is actually added automatically to the pages if you follow my tutorial on how to do that. We still need to add in this title here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go in, add a new section, drag that down below. Make sure this is full width, 1200 pixels, margins auto, and padding on the top and bottom of 50 pixels. I'm just gonna add a heading, type in, see why people love snooze. You can change it to anything like even testimonials or what customers are saying. You can say anything you want matching your brand voice. That's now done, I'm gonna click save and publish. Let's now take a look at our page, the desktop version we just created. So there we have the description looking really nice with the icons, this full width section with a big benefit there. Some more benefits down here, created, looking nice. Got the product video, frequently asked questions, related products, and I've got the reviews heading with the reviews underneath. The problem with this page is that if I view this on mobile, like if I click inspect here, click this button, and then view this on mobile, there's a few different problems here. Firstly, this isn't center aligned. This looks really, really weird. We're gonna have to fix that. And there's two images in a row here. That looks a bit weird, so we're gonna have to fix that. So now let's go back to our page and let's work through these together. The first thing we need to fix is this being centered on mobile. Now, Shogun makes it really, really easy for you to change the mobile view compared to the actual desktop view. So I can even click this mobile view and see, we can see here that the problem is here. These are not center aligned. So I click on this element here, the heading, and what I can do over here is I can actually click this button here, click mobile, and now I can create an edit that only applies if someone is viewing the page on mobile. So if I click this, the same for this one, change it to mobile. That's now only going to show centered when they're on mobile. So there we have it there, it's still on the side. And now on mobile, it's centered. Now what about this section here? So the problem here is that this text box here has a 40% max width. And when you're on a small screen, that means it can only show up as 40% of that total width. So we're just gonna click this button here, view the mobile edit and change this to 90%. Boom, Look, it looks so much nicer now. And if I view this on desktop, it looks good. Looks good on mobile too. Now the next section we need to change is this benefit section here. I don't like how this is left aligned. I'd rather that be in the center. And these two images here, that kind of looks a bit weird. The good thing is Shogun makes this really easy. We can just click this just like we did before, change to mobile view, and then make this center aligned. Let's do that for all the headings. Clicked it, there we go. Same for this one here. Now to fix this section here, what's happening is because this section here has text, image, image, text, it just flows in that order. So we just have to change the order of that row. To fix this, we're gonna select the middle column here, and over here, change this to right first. So you see, it just flips it around, but only on mobile. So now we go to desktop, it looks the same, but mobile, it looks nice. There's a text, you know, the heading text image, heading text image, heading text image. This just looks a lot more professional. Now let's view what this actually looks like. Click save, click publish. Let's now take a look at the mobile version of the page. So let's see if everything has been fixed. Okay, awesome, that's centered on mobile. That's looking really, really good now. So this is centered now and they're stacking really, really nicely. Now that those things have been fixed, this page is basically ready to show to the world. You can start running Google shopping campaigns to this page. So that's a full step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to build a really awesome product page using the Shogun landing page builder. Like I said before, get this landing page builder, check out the description. I'll put a link to this page builder. You can go and get it, install it on your store. There's a seven day free trial. I love this builder. I use it for a lot of different stores. I highly recommend it. it. Makes it super easy to make awesome long form product pages like this one. If you haven't checked out our product page mastery course, this video is a part of that course. This is the last video in the course that ties everything together. I recommend going and checking out that free course, 100% free, a lot of really valuable information in there, guys. Go and check it out. Hope to see you on the inside. Take care, I'll see you next time.